Hello and welcome. My name is Davis Bitsky. I'm a developer evangelist with Amazon focused on mobile apps and games. In today's video, I'll give you a quick introduction of the Amazon in-app purchasing API and how you can use it to increase conversion with your users in your mobile apps and games. I'll start off by giving you some examples in the Amazon App Store today, as well as some information about popular categories for in-app purchasing. I'll show you where to get the in-app purchasing SDK, and I'll compare it with the Google Play and iTunes stores where you already may have submitted apps. Finally, I'll end this video with links to additional developer resources that you can use to go deeper into the code. Monetization on the Amazon App Store happens for all Kindle Fire users, as well as Android users on select mobile and tablet devices. The familiar one-click Amazon payment system is available and drives much higher conversion ratios. Physical and digital goods are also recommended. So for example, if I bought a tent or a backpack for camping, I may find that an app for camping, or hiking for that matter, becomes available as a recommendation on my device. All of this helps you better monetize on the Amazon App Store. Let's drill in. Inside of in-app purchasing, we create a store catalog. That store catalog exists of SKUs. If we look at the existing Amazon App Store today, as of March 2014, the top 10 Amazon App Store categories are seen here. The number of SKUs across all of the apps in the store are showing on the left. And you can see this is in millions. So for example, casino apps today have the highest number of SKUs, and they range a little bit over 25 million. Number 10 is racing, and you can see that coming in around 1.5 million. Some other interesting numbers that may be insightful for you is the average amount of SKUs per app so we're looking at about two SKUs per app. The highest amount of SKUs in any single app or game in the store today happens to be a little over 52,000. The highest price in the US for an available SKU is at $100, and that happens to be the maximum that you can currently set. And the average price in the US today is $3.80 across all categories, not just the top 10 that you see here. So let's talk about the in-app purchasing API itself. If we're playing a game on one of our devices that you can see over here on the left, and we choose one of these items to purchase, an in-app purchasing dialog pops up. This is the familiar one-click experience, the Amazon branded experience that we talked about before. Because users that are seeing this experience are already logged into their Amazon account, whether it's on a Kindle Fire device or the Amazon App Store for Android, they won't have to enter any type of payment information. If I hit the 99 cents button, you can see I've unlocked that item. Conversion is increased with this Amazon's one-click purchasing technology. You can see this is fully integrated in the checkout experience. You can sell all sorts of digital content here. So in-game currency, expansion packs, upgrades you can think of, subscriptions, and entitlements. I'm going to cover all of these in a moment. You can integrate most of this in just a couple of steps in as little as two hours. In fact, the entire SDK is just a jar file that you download, you add into your Android development environment as an external jar, and with a couple lines of code, you can begin pointing to your own SKUs. So where to begin? Simply go to developer.amazon.com forward slash apps. At the top of your screen, you'll see APIs. If you click on APIs and then in-app purchasing, on the right hand of the screen, you'll see a Get the SDK button. Simply click this button and you'll download a zip file with the in-app purchasing SDK, as well as other Amazon mobile services. So what can your users buy? You can create SKUs for consumables, and think of these as individual items within a game, maybe a power-up, uh, a special extra life. Entitlements, you can think of this as going from maybe a minimal version with minimal functionality to a full bone uh, pro version. All this is available through entitlements, as well as subscriptions. So you can go ahead and you can sell 
different types of subscriptions, for example, a magazine with a monthly subscription. There's a full test environment, so the Amazon App Store client, which handles all of the transactions in the live environment, whether on a Kindle Fire device or an Android a mobile phone or tablet, is mimicked inside of the test environment through something called the SDK tester. So you don't have to actually purchase full items when you're testing your app. You can do all of this while you're building it. If we compare it to Google Play and iOS, you can see very similar features. In fact, most of the types are the same. You've probably already set up SKUs in these stores today, so setting up SKUs inside the Amazon App Store is a process of just moving that existing information over. If I go into the developer console for my app, and here you can see this is just one of my own apps that I've written. If I click on in-app purchasing, you'll see a list of existing in-app items. Right now I have one item that happens to be an entitlement called Track Single Realm. If I want to add a new item, I simply add consumable, add an entitlement, or add subscription. Let's go ahead and do add an entitlement. You can see I'm greeted with four tabs, general information, availability and pricing, description, and images. This is where you'll assign a SKU and a title to all of these different pieces of information, and then click Save. These items are what is reflected inside of the game. So if we look at My Singing Monsters, when I click on an item, so for example, coin purse, that item is brought up, the price is displayed, and customers on the Amazon App Store can use Amazon coins as well as real currency. I'm going to say get item, and because on my Kindle Fire I've enabled the option to confirm in app purchasing, you can see that here. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue, and then that SKU will be processed. If you'd like more information about the Amazon in-app purchasing API, you can visit developer.amazon.com app store. You can get help on our forums or send us an email, as well as following us on Facebook, Twitter, or our blog.